Good morning, folks. That's Jupiter entering the Soho Lasco C3 frame from the left, conjoins the Sun in just a couple of weeks. Today we've got a nearly blank solar disk. Space weather to watch for nonetheless, earthquakes, news, and weather. But we begin over at spaceweathernews.com and you'll see small ejections leaving to the sides. Not going to affect Earth, but it's more than we've been seeing on the Earth-facing half of the Sun. Dark coronal hole there facing us as well, but there haven't been any solar flares to speak of. It's just one sunspot grouping on the disk right now, and it's tiny. One of the small CMEs you saw moments ago came from just south of that active region. But otherwise, it has indeed been calm, and that goes for back here at Earth as well. Magnetosphere in quiet conditions as we continue to await the arrival of the coronal hole stream. Phi angle shift the day before kept us out of a KP0 day with cosmic ray health alerts, and whenever that stream does get here, activity should intensify. Of course, the coronal holes setting the stream at Earth would first be expected to connect and begin disrupting the lithosphere. Biggest uptick yesterday was south of Asia across a thin selection of latitudes. We're going to come back to the six-pointer momentarily, and we also had a four-pointer hit the coast of Canada. It's their second in about a week. So back to the two biggest quakes of yesterday. The six-pointer hit Vanuatu, and a 5.9 that rang as high as 6.2 struck Indonesia right next to Papua New Guinea. Well, that one is actually just on the outside of the red line, so we can't count it as a predicted location. Besides, it's listed at 5.9. However, the six-pointer is clearly within the smaller red zone to the east, and that one will count as a location forecast. Unfortunately, one can't say we're 100% out of the woods going forward as Gong shows increased openings coming in for another day or two. Top news today begins at Characlo, the Centaur asteroid discovered to have rings caused by icy and silicate crustal interactions during close interactions with the giant planets. Apparently, many of the Centaurs are icy, with silicate, and many are expected to have similar rings, just like the big dogs in our neighborhood. Top weather story from the last day was likely the terrible storms that hit the UK. Flash flooding was widespread and a landslide even derailed a train. Lots of photos coming in from submerged stations and businesses. Cleanup begins. Meanwhile, the top alert for tonight is in Asia where the second typhoon in a matter of days is sweeping up through the region. It is slated to depart and head for southern Japan in the coming days, so eyes open for a shifting alert zone. Folks, we got you a new Deeper Look episode yesterday, looking at the star line visible every year around late August on Soho Lasco C3. We broke it down star by star, even used Stellarium, with what little info is available, and we also looked at where in the galaxy they are likely to be located. In a couple hours, we'll have our weekly podcast posted to the Fly on the Wall page of the premium content at suspiciousobservers.org. Your support is greatly appreciated, pero tu atención es mandatoria. We've got global pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.